white powdery substance scattered on the floor. The white powder seems to be salt. I take out the bottle of water and fill it with powder. Got salt water. First purify with seawater. I hear that voice again. Seawater. So would that be salt water then? Experiments pour salt water on plants to kill them. There are six office ladies who ride my train. I observed them for ten days. I learned popular colors are brown and pink. Everyone's hair is brown and their mouths are pink. Don't know why I need that, but sure. The mark has dyed a deep crimson. A few minutes left until death closes it. A loud noise suddenly rings out. Ugh. A terrible pain runs through my wrist. It feels like something's biting into my bone. Tsukasa? Hey, are you listening? Yeah, uh, of course. <laughs> At least he's still replying to me. But the way he's acting is... We can't keep going like this. Move, come on. My shout rings through the building. The instant I step out into the hallway, a strange, indescribable feeling hits me, like a solid presence is closing in on me from deep within the darkness. A rabbit appears out of nowhere. Then it runs down the hallway. I thought that was it, but it stops part way. It turns back as if to see what we're doing. Wait, wait up! I grab Tsukasa's wrist and chase after it. We chase after the rabbit and arrive at... The eastern staircase. We chase the rabbit running up the eastern staircase. Part way up, I trip over something. What's this? Moe's bag is on the staircase. Got Moe's bag. Inside the bag is some random junk along with her school jacket. What's this doing here? But if it's here, that means... Is Moe in the school? Then I remember that we were chasing the rabbit. Where did... I look around for the creature. Just then, red drops of something fall from above. It's scarlet rose petals. I slowly raise my eyes up to the ceiling. Insta-boobs! Yep. The instant I see that, I let out a groan. It's heavily weighted with both fear and relief. Moe is up there hanging from the rose vines. <laughs> Miss Moe, so this is where you were. He points at her, strangely amused. But she's not the only one up there. There's a corpse hiding in the vines, too. It looks like that guard. Suddenly, the vines snap like the weight is too much, and Moe crashes painfully to the ground. Well, I don't think they expected her boobs to weigh as much as they did, I'm sure. Hey, hang in there. Yeah. I quickly glance over her to make sure she's not hurt. Her mark is obvious. It's swollen, pulsing, and red like a large, dangerous-looking pomegranate. It looks like it's progressed a lot further than the mark on my wrist. I see. So this is why. Did she just get desperate and come to the school to try to do something? So you didn't run away. In any case, I need to get some clothes on her. I take the jacket out of her bag and slide her arm into a sleeve. She's still pretty out of it, but she manages to get the rest on by herself. Huh? Oh, it's you, Mr. Why? The mark's progression must be affecting her just like Tsukase. Tsukasa. I doubt anything I say will make sense to her. And besides, right now... He's here. Hanahiko knows. I know. But what should I do? What am I supposed to do? There's nowhere to hide. I look at Moe and Tsukasa. Their eyes are unfocused. We'll die here. We'll all die here. I'm the only one who might have a chance at overturning that fate. 
Gaining the key and lifting the grudge is the only way to survive. You will be required to be callous to make use of the spirit's fear. The way to repel the spirit lies within its grudge. Mary's words echo in my head. I open my bag and look through everything I've picked up throughout the school. Is one of these the key? But it all looks like junk. Garbage is all I have. Hanahiko. When I first saw him in the mirror, he was just a monster. But now I feel like I know why he came to be. I'll just have to face him. Believe that I have the final key. Believe. Trust in myself. I grab them, shake their shoulders, and yell. Get it together, there's nowhere to hide. We have to go, come with me. Hanahiko. Moe makes a vague sound, but that's good enough. We're going to release him from his curse. Hanahiko is staring at Moe. Hey, they're a grown-up. Fine, only big people die, okay? A sound like a sound like slithering violence comes from Hanahiko's direction. The next thing I know, a small sharp object grazes my face. <sniffs> Missed. You won't be so lucky next time. I get the feeling Hanahiko's planning to attack me from a distance. I need to do something to reach him from this far away. I put the plastic sheet over the wire umbrella. I ready the cobbled together umbrella. This should be able to block the thorns. What the heck is that? That umbrella is in my way. His cold voice rings out, sounding slightly angry. Hanahiko shoots a rose thorn. The thorns fire at fa as fast as bullets, but only bounce off the bloodstained sheet. Their blood denies him, so that's what it meant. The impact of the thorns caused the sheet to start to fall off the umbrella. If we don't put it back on, we won't be able to protect ourselves. Hanaiko sways closer, as if the umbrella is irritating him. We might be able to do something if he comes a little closer. he comes up close. Countless vines wriggle in his oddly shaped head. They're all like poisonous snakes about to strike their prey. At this distance, the umbrella's pretty useless. It's obvious I'll be killed instantly if I don't do anything. This close distance is my only chance. Should I use an attack against spirits or an attack against plants? Is there a way I can fight back? Cade throws salt water at Hanahiko. The vines hit with the salt water quickly stop moving. In the hazy darkness, I can see Hanahiko's face twisting in pain. How mean. Are you going to tease me now too, mister? He starts sniffling as if he's about to cry. He looks weakened. Took out the lipstick. I put the lipstick on Hanahiko's lips. What did you do? Hanahiko is weakened. Kate points the round hand mirror at Hanahiko. I turn the hand mirror towards him to make him look at the lipstick. He stares at his reflection. This is red stuff. I've been looking for this for so long. 
my keepsake from my mom are those memories from when he was alive. He smiles with his red lips. Am I pretty? I'm starting to think his mom was a slit-mouthed woman. The spirit melts into the darkness with a smile on his face. I don't sense Hanahiko anymore. Did we win? Seriously? Yeah. Kinda hard to believe, but looks like we did. Mister! My mark disappeared! Moe cheers as she studied her, studies her like Apparently she took her pants off to do that because, uh, yeah, she's in pants now. Her mark hadn't burned into her th right thigh. Oh, what about yours? Oh yeah, my right hand. It's still there. My mark looks exactly the same as before. Why? Why isn't it going away? Sorry, mister. It's almost dawn. Am I going to die? There you are! My head suddenly cleared up and my mark is gone. That means you did it, right? Yeah, but he still has his mark. Let's go back to the mansion. Mary might know what to do. Yeah, you're right. Come on, mister, let's go. Moe leads me away. Huh? Moe is digging through her bag. Oh no, my wallet's missing. Maybe I dropped it earlier. Her, her glance back at the school is confused. But you're definitely more important right now. We gotta hurry and get back. Go on. Huh? Just make sure you're back in five minutes. Go, get moving. Right, thanks. Moe rushes back into the school. Good grief. We're in a hurry here. Moe shrinks in the distance until they become dis become, until they disappear inside the building. A bitingly cold wind whips past me. It's coming from the school. That's not normal, especially for the start of summer. The wind dies down, and out of nowhere, I get a really bad feeling. Should I have let Moe go back inside? Five minutes pass. Moe isn't back yet. What in the world is she doing? We better check. Pissy faces. I step inside and go down the right hallway. I make it all the way in front of the room where we fought Hanahiko, but... I don't see Moe anywhere. Strange, this should be the place. M Mister? You scared the crap out of me. What are you doing here? You're late, so I came looking for you. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's dark, so it took longer. I should have borrowed the flashlight. She bows an apology. I'm so relieved. A huge weight lifts off my shoulders when I see she's okay. Come on, we have to go back. We all climb into the car and head straight to Cujo Mansion. Huh. <laughs> You're safe. My marks vanished like it never was, so things must have gone well, huh? Glad to see you found Moe, too. You're frowning. What's wrong? Well, his mark hasn't gone away. What did you say? Hey, what's going on? Um, mister. We'll tell Mr. Mashida about everything. Please go see Mary. Welcome back, Lord Cade. It appears that you've overcome your fear and cleared away the grudge. Congratulations are in order. Her tone is the same as always, but for some reason it grates on me. What's so great about it? Why hasn't my mark vanished? It is likely the one who gave it was not Hanahiko. I'm suddenly lightheaded, the world fading. I'd risked my life during that investigation, and it was completely useless to me. I guess all that's left is waiting for dawn and my death. Lord Cade. 
If it is all right with you, would you mind showing me your mark? I hold my arm out to Mary. Her neck shifts slightly as she stares at the mark. It is as I thought. It is only a minuscule fraction. But the fate I sense from this mark has been distorted. What does that mean? It is because- is it because I beat Hanahiko? The flame of your life was indeed fading at one point, but it has now become brighter. Are you saying, I'm not going to die at dawn? That is correct. My sigh of relief is so deep it feels like my soul is escaping my body. The mark still burns on me, but it seems I'll be okay, for now. It appears the mark you bear is different from the ones I know of, but there is no doubt that it was given to you by a spirit. Then, there are other spirits like Hanahiko that give people marks? Yes. Spirits born of grudges have an insatiable hatred for the living. This persistent hatred is not sated by simply killing the living. Rather, they drag their victims to the depth of despair before their death. That is what they desire. The mark is an effective method. Spirits who wish to terrorize the living. The more I hear, the less I understand. It appears something within each city can easily create such It appears something within each city can easily create such spirits. Though I could not say what it is. So for me to escape my mark, I need to find the spirit that gave it to me and take care of it then. Yes, it is logical to believe the mark will disappear with the spirit. That is the only way to escape death and regain your memories. It will soon be dawn. I am sure that you are all tired. Please rest. You are free to use any room. Thank you so much, seriously. If you hadn't been there, I probably would have been killed by Hanahiko. But when I think about you slabbing your mark, it's hard to be happy. Well, I'm going to bed. Good night. You did great work today. You're much more competent than all the other adults I know. It only makes sense for adults to help children. It will be a challenge from now on. My schoolwork has suffered due to my memory loss. I need to study hard to catch up. You do your best, too. Well then, good night. Think I'm heading off myself. With that mess of trouble taken care of, I'm sure I'll crash right away. Oh, right. Here, have this. He pulls a small paper item from his bait-up coat and hands it to me. It looks like a newspaper article. It's about that boy who died. Before he was adopted, he'd lived with his mother. She understood her son, unlike his hard-headed adoptive father. She'd put, she'd put makeup on him in front of the mirror. She very much doted on him. After all that hell at a young age, then dying, that was probably his only good memory. Mashita's smile is sad. Well, it's up to you how you interpret it. Do whatever you want. See ya. Huh. Lord K, there's something I must tell you. Lord K, there's something I must tell only you. About those who lost their marks, they must leave in the morning. Those who escape their fate should return to their daily lives. That is the will of Lady Saya. So I'll be the only one left behind? I feel like a student repeating a grade. Lord Cade, by any chance, are you uneasy about being solo occupant in this mansion? You're here. I must express my extreme gratitude that you hold me in such regard, although the things I am capable of are rather limited. Mary stares unblinkingly at me. I could just be a... I could just be extrapolating it, but it seems like she was thinking about something. Now then, Lord Cade. It would be best f it would be for the best you take your rest as well. Please find me when you are ready. Farewell. It's getting tired. <laughs> Let's see. Excuse me. 19. So the principal of H Elementary, Mr. A, reported to the local police that his son, age 9, was missing. The police organized a huge search even into the forest by H Castle, but were unable to locate him. Mr. A was famous for helping out the orphanage, and his missing son was adopted from there. 
Public information on the missing person's case. The boy's physical characteristics are height of 3 feet 2 inches, small and slender. His short hair, he has short hair and was wearing a white shirt and navy shorts when he went missing. Often mistaken for a girl. Usually seen playing with girls and enjoying, enjoys wearing makeup. Always carrying, carries toy makeup with him on it, in his pouch. Post-incident gossip. Mr. A, the lost child's father, has resigned from his post as principal of H Elementary and is moving out of H City. A man of importance in the area has been plagued with slander that has affected his family. Some rumors claim he is a pedophile or questions his sexuality. These horrible accusations ignore his human rights. An article on the boy's background. After the missing boy's mother passed away, he was placed in the orphanage, having no other family. The two were extremely close. A neighbor shares, one day the boy wore his mother's makeup to show his friends only to be teased and bullied by them. His mother rushed up with her mirror, had him look in it, and told him he was cute. Many people disappear between when the boy went missing and the school closed. Among them are the boy's homeroom teacher and that woman I saw in, and that woman I saw in the underground room. There's a theory that he may have sought help from adults while he was being abused, with no success. After his death, his angry despair created Hanahiko, the spirit that attacks adults. So I was right! That he was punishing the adults that weren't helping him. I'm gonna stretch. I'm gonna take a quick, like, five, ten minute break because my head hurts a little bit. I'm an adult. I can solve puzzles. I missed your chance. Okay. <clears throat> Are you retiring to bed? Yes. Good night. Chapter 1, Hanahiko and 